Dave Calder wrote a book called The Child Called It, and in his book, he talks about his childhood experiences. In this book, he explains how his mother abused him. She was an alcoholic, and he faced death multiple times. He was stabbed, burned, um, put in a gas chamber, poisoned. He went through everything, and he had no one to help him, not even his hero. He considered his father a hero. And one time when he got stabbed, his father just told him to go back into the kitchen before his mother got them in trouble. So after many years of just brutality, say, um, he had no one to help him. Eventually, only five people were able to help him. And those were his teachers, school, school nurse, principal, and his social worker. In the Telegraph, he had an interview with Cassandra Jardine, and he mentions how his mother wanted to kill him. Okay. Sources have said that social workers have evolved into positive change agents. And there, I learned after volunteering at Casa Permanente and working there in the summer, I learned how social workers have um, evolved. I worked with two different types of social workers and learned more about the responsibilities and the tasks they do in order to help the community. Okay, so as I mentioned, social workers have changed and affect our community and do stuff in order to better it. Um, and I'm going to give two examples of two types of social workers. In Dave's case, we see how um, it was social work was a uh, so family social work. Social workers were limited because um, abuse was meant to be a family and personal matter. So those who were um, to get involved with the case would lose risking their jobs, even social workers, which is why it took so long for many people to get involved. Um, in Dave's case, we see how um, it took a long time for him to get the help he needed. And after his social worker helped him, we see how um, she didn't really help him fully. And I have a video to show in which he says the lack of help that he received from the social worker. Extraordinary evening with extraordinary people is Dave Pelzer. Good turn. Get them out. So we'll put their careers on the line for trying because we didn't have penal codes that we have now to protect children or to protect, protect those trying to protect children. So it was a very dramatic and took you away from the house immediately. What did your father say? My father was separated from mom at the time. So the brothers was, remain? Yes, which was unfortunate. I remember going to my social worker and saying, hey, if, if, if you're gonna rescue me, you have to take care of my brothers. But because of the, uh, I think I used to swallow away 68 pounds, 68, 70 pounds. My case was rather gratuitous, and there's, the, the social workers were saying, hey, we'll take care of you, let's see what happens next, well, let's take care of you now, which wasn't care of my brothers who had to, of course, How did they grow up? Uh, they, they, there was, of course, some abuse there, and psychological abuse. point we see how um, the social worker was able to eventually move Dave out of the home but she left his brother there which is we see the lack of interest that she had for them and as we as I mentioned earlier they, she didn't want to get involved in order to risk losing her job another example is Tyler Diaz he was he had a social worker and he was he had been in um, the, the system since he was three years old him and his two sisters Connie Diaz was his social worker, his caseworker. And in the Ransom College article in May 2014, it says that social workers are driven to his career for interest and desire, which explains Connie Going. Connie Going was um, um, trying to find a home for Tyler Diaz. And every time she placed him in a home, he would come back because of his aggressive behavior. Nobody wanted him but she didn't give up on him, so instead she took 10 years to find a home for him. 
and at the end, um, she ended up dropping him as a client and taking him as a son. So it shows the evolution of social workers and how they better the, the community and the people. So now that I have mentioned the evolution, I will explain how they help. So according to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, social workers help people solve and cope with problems of their everyday life. Even though there's different types of social workers, as you see there, there's the child and family, community, psychiatrics, and etc. They all have the same goal, which is to help people cope with their emotions. And for example, the medical social workers, they all have, um, they work in the hospital. So despite all the different specialties that they have, they and the different work environments, they have the same objective. So now that we've learned the different types of social workers, we know the different obstacles that come with it. So for example, the child and family so, um, social worker have um, the obstacle of separating families. We know that it's hard for them and it's also something that they wouldn't want to do. They also have a lot of cases to deal with that leads to stress. And Rebecca Noel mentions how in the Guardian article how she wasn't fully prepared for the job and she became ill with stress. So I learned that after volunteering at Kaiser, I learned that it's not easy to be a social worker and the experience I had was that they truly did care for the community and for the people and how they are positive change agents. So in conclusion, uh, we learned how social workers are positive, positive change agents in the community and valuable members. And even though um, their work is not as common, they do better the world.